everyone, Jane here. Um, just wanted to say hi and don't know how you're all doing, but um, we're going to try and make ourselves feel a bit better, okay? Um, just sending love. Um, hopefully, what I've decided to do with these videos um, will, will help a little bit. Um, first of all, I I'm completely useless with technology, so I've just got my little phone here and <laughs> trying my best with it. Um, so please bear with me because quality is not going to be great. You won't be able to see all of me, maybe all of the time. I don't quite know how it's going to work out, but I'll try my best and um, we'll evolve together. Eh? So, um, yeah, I hope you can hear me and I hope you can see me. That's the most important thing, yeah? So, what should we aim to do? What I'm going to do is sort of build up a collection of, of different practices, different videos. Um, we've got to be thinking about what we can do. What we can do for ourselves, okay? And focus on something constant. And a daily practice is, is a really good thing, whatever you're doing. Um, so we'll, what I'm going to try and do with these videos is just try and open and stretch the body, the whole body. And some videos will deal with specific parts of the body like maybe chest health or spinal health or whatever um but uh yeah opening stretching releasing tension etc the kind of stuff that we do in class but um trying to just use me as a guide when you're doing your own practice um really important at the moment that we're very aware of how we breathe our breath is our life yeah and um, in these times, breathing fully and openly with your diaphragm is really important. So I will be focusing on the breath quite a lot as you would expect. So there'll be some relaxation stuff, some visualization, um, gradually build up. You can let me know uh, what you like, what, what you feel you need or whatever, and just let's see how we go. Um, yoga um, works on your body on all levels. So when we do these stretches and breathing exercises and stuff, you know, it gets into your brain, your cognition, your mind, your muscles, your bones, your joints, your body systems, everything. So uh, really a great practice to do. So just bear with me, will you? When, thinking, when you're thinking about when to do your practice, generally um, I practice in the morning, um, but any of these videos can be done at any time, so just pick and choose what you want. Um, I'll be sort of defining uh, each one differently. So the one, the the sequences that are entitled gentle or very gentle will be the kind of very slow, focusing on the breath, gentle movements, no like hardcore yoga poses, just really very gentle or gentle. Excuse me, uh, then we'll maybe do, uh, I'll, I'll bring in some more active ones and uh, I'll probably do a couple of uh, videos with, with a strong practice. Um, if you're going to uh, catch up with me every day or once a week or whatever, that's great. Um, when you come and do your practice with me, come and bring a pen and paper with you, a pen and paper, little notebook, whatever. Because at the moment we're going through all kind of different emotions and feelings and some of which we can control and some of which we can't control. It's good at the start of your practice to kind of notice how you're feeling at the time. I know probably a lot of you are quite anxious or frightened. Um, notice what your, your thinking is, you know, how are you feeling? Actually question it from the outside rather than, than just kind of letting it take you over and you're just running with it all the time just stop and ask yourself how you feel and if if you feel if your feelings are very fear-based or you're worried about loved ones or yourself or how you're going to get food and all of those things that people are worried about um it's great to just write that down and then do your stretching or your breathing or your relaxation or whatever you're going to do and and then write down how you feel afterwards and you can keep a little bit of a log then about um you know how this work affects you and how you can gradually build up um, into a complete practice for yourself you know it's an opportunity you know I know we're um, we're feeling everything shrinking from around us but we if we try and accept and embrace this moment 
opportunities will come to us and we will hopefully all become you know more humane individuals um props so i like to sit like this when i'm doing my breathing practice just a couple of yoga blocks um some people will need a couple more or you could sit with a couple of firm cushions or firm pillows um if your knees don't like this at all find a, a straight back chair um, if you can't sit with your knees bent either like that or like that um, find a straight back chair dining chair kind of thing and um, sit on that with your feet on the floor flat on the floor um, if your feet don't if you sit on the chair and your feet don't come onto the floor then put something under them so put yoga blocks under them if you've got them or put um, a cushion or a couple of pillows or something just so that you can your pelvis is grounded and your spine can and your head can can all be in a good position and aligned and your sitting bones can be right underneath you that's really important so you either maybe sit like this or sit cross-legged on blocks so your pelvis is lifted a bit so that it doesn't put so much strain on your hips or sitting on a chair so have uh, blocks ready uh, have a blanket ready have um, any kind of cushions or whatever just in case you need them to support you in any way as we're working find yourself a, a quiet space I'm, I'm lucky I've got this little space here um, where I do my yoga every morning and plan my work and stuff like that um, if you haven't got a separate room to do it in it doesn't matter just keep your mat somewhere where you won't forget about it put it out when you, you know you want to do your practice get changed put some loose clothes on if you haven't already or some different clothes have some practice clothes and just even if you don't feel like it just do it and and write down the difference that hopefully even if it's just five minute breathing will do for your well-being so yeah don't forget about your breathing some of the, some of the practices maybe if you're not if you haven't been taught by me before or you don't know anything about yoga it's not it's not all about doing poses and stuff like that I, I want to do some stretches I want to do some sequences some meditation some breathing some uh, lying down relaxation and stuff like that sometimes you might have to do things you've never done before or you might choose to just forget them and just carry on forward it or whatever um, but there's certain things uh, practices that might seem a bit feel a bit weird at first <clears throat> but bear with it keep doing it and eventually these these things bed down in the brain and they we don't have to think about them anymore they just happen subconsciously rather than us having to think consciously about doing them okay so try to just go with the flow we need to at the moment I'm aware that you know things are are feeling pretty out of control for most people um, and we don't like that as humans and we are very uncomfortable of that and fearful of that so it's it's great to do some yoga to bring your whole perspective inward not not to rely on everything external but to bring your own world inside and connect with things that you connect with with nature with the planet with something in your home you know instead of all of these threads just flaring around just try and bring them in we're just going to do a little breathing practice now that i hope is just to settle your breathing and just calm the whole body down okay do this anytime sitting lying standing doesn't matter so as long as your body is in contact with the floor so uh if you're sitting sit comfortably on top of your sitting bones place your head on top of your spine not with your chin sticking up just with your the crown of the head pointing upwards all of this is relaxed knees hips pelvis just letting the weight drop down into your sitting bones and just lift your heart up a little bit to keep the spine straight if you're lying down just let all the tension and the stiffness drain out of your body and just lie down for a minute I uh, just rest the hands on the legs, close your eyes wherever you are.
take a deep breath in and just let the out breath come. Notice what it's like. Focus on breathing in quite strongly, quite energetically and breathing out in a relaxed way like a little sigh. Don't let your body completely sag as you breathe out. Just when you breathe in, just really let the body expand. So feel the expansion in your heart, in your ribs, in your lungs, in the front and the back of your body as you breathe in. And then when you breathe out, just letting everything drop downwards towards the floor, just letting your weight drop down through your sitting bones, into the blocks, into the ground, but not collapsing into a kind of like a sack of potatoes, just keeping everything nice and upright. On the in-breath, just starting to think about the space above the crown of your head, not doing anything with it, just take the in-breath up there, above the crown in your mind. And just relax your legs as you breathe out, relax your pelvis down into your sitting bones, relax your forehead, your eyes, your shoulders. And it doesn't matter how quickly or slowly you breathe, you're just watching and you're just noticing. And just start to try and make the in and the out the same length. Don't push it, don't do anything that doesn't feel right. Just notice which at the moment, whether it's your out breath or your in breath is longer than the other one. And bring them into, uh, into tandem. Just breathe in for two and out for two if you think that's a good count for you. So like seconds, like one, two, one, two, or in for three and out for three, or in for four and out for four. So whatever count you're used to doing, or if this is new, just take a shorter count and just count the breath in. One, two, exhale, one, two, those of you doing a longer one, just always knowing that the inhalation must come really naturally. You mustn't be rushing towards it. You mustn't be <gasps> needing it. You must just allow things to work into a lovely rhythm like the tide going in and out, the wave coming in and out. Let's do it together for three counts. Breathing in. And out, one, two, three. And in, one, two, three, out, two, three. Do another three of them. Notice whether you're using your diaphragm, the diaphragm, the muscle, the main breathing muscle coming down the body as you breathe in, opening up the lungs, drawing the breath in through the nose, and the exhale, diaphragm just dropping back into the bottom of the ribs as your lungs empty of air. So take two more breaths with that count, just really using your diaphragm to open and draw the air into the body, and then just staying with the diaphragm as it drops back into the ribs and just let the out breath complete. See the end of it, feel the end of the out breath until it changes into the in breath. Just be in that little moment of transition, a bit of quietness in the body when it's emptied of air and it's waiting to be filled up again. So now focusing just a little bit on body tension, so just feeling the expansion on the in-breath, feeling your chest open horizontally as well as the body opening vertically and then as you breathe out, relax your shoulders, soften them, soften your shoulder blades and just keep on the out-breath now 
just relaxing the joints of the arms, so the, the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists, the fingers, work your way through each finger. Remember not to collapse the body, just keeping things nice and lifted in the heart space and in the chest, just keeping all the space across the collarbones nice and wide. And just releasing something, softening something as you breathe out. Just letting the body feel a little bit heavier on the floor, like you're spreading out across the ground. Like maybe if you practice this kind of thing regularly, maybe you can start to feel uh, those roots growing down, just down below the surface of the earth and just anchoring you. Just keeping you safe, keeping you grounded, keeping your connection to nature, the planet, really important at the moment. Everything's going to be okay. We have to control our thinking. We have to think of good things. We have to be grateful for things. Well done, guys. So open your eyes. And just bring the hands into the heart. And just gently press them together and gather in all your fingers and thumbs. That's a really kind of active, active gesture of thanks. And just soften your gaze, let your chin drop down into your chest. Take a deep breath there. And then opening up the throat. So think about where your thyroid is, where your, where your throat is and just gently open the throat relax the shoulders and then drop back into a neutral space and then lift the arms breathe in deep exhale and again breathing in excellent and out forwards and out, stretch the fingers and breathe in and exhale, relax the shoulders and inhale into the chest and exhale, stretch the fingers away like you're going to touch a wall, not really pulling but just feeling the fingers stretching yeah, rather than pulling on the joints and another one, breathe in Diaphragm, exhale. In and out. That's the just the introduction to what we're going to be doing. So um, bless you for tuning in, and I'll be in touch soon. Okay. Om Shanti.